Hey guys, today a video about what to do when we're too much in our head thinking or worrying about what other people may or may not be thinking about us. Um, so yeah, we tend to do these things, this narrative going over in our heads um, where we're kind of playing out scenarios or conversations um, where we put anyone that we know in a position um, and we feel kind of the reflection of them back to us. So in a sense, like we may fear their judgment, we may fear their opinion or um, yeah, just their general ideas about us. Um, I see it as a very common thing. And so what happens is in our, in our own minds, we have an image of ourselves, a part of ourselves that is judging ourselves. And instead of looking at this, it's easier to project it outwards. So we can, we actually displace this whole story of what someone is thinking about us onto them. But actually it's us that's thinking about this about ourselves. It's us who is judging something about ourselves or holding a certain opinion. It can be very, can be quite unconscious, subconscious. And that's also why it becomes projected or, um, yeah, it comes projected outwards. We create like an image. Um, and yeah, so things I find very helpful when this happens is to, to stop myself, to remind myself, well, first of all, you can never influence what someone else is thinking about you. Um, second of all, it doesn't even matter. You know, you're here to do your own thing, your own path. You know your own true north better than anyone else. So basically, um, what others think about you is your business. Um, what, are, sorry, what others think about you is none of your business. Um, it's only your business what you think about yourself. And then another interesting thing to, to realize and take note of is um, when you hold a certain image, a certain idea, a certain... Um, preconceived notion of what someone else is thinking about you, you actually create this scenario, you create this, this frequency. And so you actually make it come alive more and more for you in your reality, in their reality probably. So when you meet these people, you will probably receive some sort of feedback or you know prove that this is actually the picture they have of you because that's all you can see through the filter, which, you know, in this case, you're, it's just your frequency. You so strongly hold on to this, this fear that someone is judging you or might think something about you. And, um, yeah, then whenever you do meet these, these people, this is the narrative that you have going on and this is the energy that you're co-creating with them and there's very little chance for anything else. So, yeah, so realize that when you're doing this, when you are having a story in your mind, a thought about, it can be very subtle, very unconscious, but if you can catch it like, oh, this person must be thinking this about me, or this person might be, you know, judging this and this, just really stop yourself there. Know that it is you judging yourself. You're using another person to project this on. Um, it's not of your business what anyone else thinks of you. It's not of their business how you live your life, as long as you are not hurting anyone, which most of the time we aren't, but everyone feels that we does because everyone has these expectations of everyone. Um, and then lastly, yeah, if you want to have a different interaction with the people that you've been having these stories in your mind with, change the story, change the frequency, and um, yeah, I guarantee you, you'll have a much different interaction with these people where before you felt seen and judged and looked upon with anything. And you'll be able to, yeah, have much more freedom for yourself in your own mind and much more freedom in your communication and relationship with these people.